Opposition leader Rayla Odinga used a forum in the U.S. to attack foreign diplomats stationed in Nairobi. The National Super Alliance, NASA, chief Thursday accused the envoys of favoring President Uhuru Kenyatta and challenged world powers to step up their intervention in Kenya. Although he did not mention names, Rayla accused the envoys of siding with President Kenyatta and his Jubilee administration in the disputed presidential election. He claimed instead of assisting Kenya to resolve the crisis caused by what he termed as a lack of free and fair elections, they, envoys, were part of the problem. The envoys have not succeeded in defusing the crisis. Let me be blunt again. They sometimes have contributed to the problem, Rayla told his audience at the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington, D.C. I have come to Washington to convey a simple message. We need a much fuller engagement from the many arms of governance that your country possesses to assist the envoys based in Nairobi, he added. In an address titled, Overcoming Kenya's Political Crisis and Advancing Democracy, Rule of Law and Stability, Rayla called on the U.S. to champion democracy in Kenya. Among the other great setbacks for Kenya in the current crisis has been the disappointing role of our partners who were with us in the decisive struggle for multi-party democracy in the 1990s, said Rayla. He said they intervened with lightning speed during Kenya's catastrophe a decade ago when mass violence erupted after the 2007 elections but was disappointed that they failed to intervene this time round. Election Lawlessness Kenya matters, at least it did then. In this crisis though, the US and other pro-democratic friends chose to avert their gaze from the unfolding election lawlessness and continued against all the evidence to support a deeply tainted electoral process, said Rayla. He claimed Kenya was hurtling into a dictatorship, accusing President Kenyatta of hanging on to power and that Jubilee plans to extend its reign with Deputy President William Ruto succeeding him. But Ruto immediately mocked Rayla, claiming his mission to the U.S. was to scuttle his, Ruto, presidential ambitions. So, Tinga went all the way to the U.S. to seek support to scuttle the possibility of a son of a peasant being elected. In 2022. Bala. Ruto tweeted after Rayla's speech. Rayla singled out both the EBG and the Supreme Court of Kenya as institutions which he alleged the government had targeted in a crackdown and wondered why the envoys did not highlight. These two independent bodies have been targeted through a reign of terror, he said. The election commission was comprehensively undermined before the August 2017 elections. The assault on the Supreme Court began after a courageous C.J. David Mariga and his fellow judges astounded Kenyans and the world by annulling the election of President Uhuru Kenyatta. He said he was disappointed that despite alleged massive malpractices and admission by EBG Chairman Wafula Chebakati that he could not guarantee a free and fair election prior to the October 26 poll, the envoys based in Nairobi urged him to participate in the election. He said the wrangles that rocked the electoral body before the repeat poll forced Rosalinicum, one of the electoral agency commissioners, to resign. Before that a commissioner had resigned and also cited the reasons why she thought elections cannot be free and fair, he said. But in a stance that has astounded Kenyans, the Western envoys two days later announced they believe that the commission in Kenya could hold a free and fair poll and supported that highly controversial election. He added.